guys, Trance here, back with another Transformers video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Toy World SF01, also known as the Studio Series Scaled Bulldog. And before I start, I want to give a shout out to Creighton Claiborne for telling me about this amazing figure, and also to Nady Baby 12 Pro Racer X Plays, and the Transformers channel because I forgot to add them in last week's video. Now let's take a look at this amazing figure. Now looking at the first image of Toy World's Bulldog, it looks really good, especially in all the detail on the legs and definitely the chest. Just the chest alone looks really accurate to what Bulldog actually looked like in the last night film. The only thing I would have a gripe about is the hat and it's not as damaged like how Bulldog had it, but that's just a minor nitpick. I also do want to point out all the detail on the feet, and it kind of looks like the Megatron's feet from Studio Series, how it like folds up. Now, I actually do not own the Studio Series Megatron, but if you do, definitely uh, tell me if this is accurate to what it is, because I think it is in the structure of the feet, kind of how it bends, but I could definitely be wrong. But especially all this detail on Bulldog, like it, this, this is like really accurate. Like it's like Studio Series Megatron in my opinion, how that figure is really accurate. This is the exact same. And I also think Toy World did a really good job in the representation of Bulldog. Sadly, there's no back shots of Bulldog yet, which kind of stinks, but he does have a vehicle mode. Now looking at Bulldog in vehicle mode, he looks really amazing, especially how they did the treads. And I honestly am stumped how they got it all to fold up like that. Cause if you look at the Bulldog, you don't really see that much tread detail besides the feet. And, and, and like, I'm confused how they would all fold up, but maybe there's some tread parts on the back that we don't see, which could be the case. Also, the Bulldog is really accurate by having those guns on the side. He does have it on both sides, and I think they may be actually articulable. I'm not 100% sure if that's a word or if they are, but they may be articulable. That'd also be including the front gun right there, too. Here's a back shot of the vehicle commode, and we can kind of see some more robot junk, especially where uh, Bulldog's uh, stomach area would be, but it honestly doesn't look too terribly bad, and it all blends in really well, and once this thing gets painted up, this is definitely going to be a must-have figure. And here's a shot of Bulldog in someone's hand. Now, now he's a Studio Series scaled figure, which is in the next slide that I'll show you, but now you can actually visualize how big this Bulldog figure will be if you kind of look at your hand. And I honestly say it's going to be a pretty good size. And here's the main picture that you all wanted to see was Bulldog with the other Studio Series figures. Now, Bulldog is the exact same height as Ironhide and probably Brawl at the head, and he honestly blends in really well. He kind of fits in the scale is definitely really good and honestly this could definitely be a studio series figure even though it's not official you could just put this in your collection as a studio series figure once it's all painted up by the company and i honestly think dream world definitely hit it out of the park with this character and i honestly hope they're gonna make more characters from the last night that we didn't get especially onslaught and i definitely have my fingers crossed for him also this company does have some upcoming arrivals according to this paper now it's not 100 percent clear if these are actually gonna come out but it says a tw fs012 which is probably hot rod from the world war ii because he has those guns in that scene and those are Bombi. Now Bombi you actually got earlier in the Studio Series confirmed figure but his car mode was actually not accurate so their take on Bombi could probably be a way more accurate car. And I definitely hope it's going to be the Mercedes that he was in the uh, Last Night film, because I really like that car mode. And I'm definitely hyped for Hot Rod 2. So if this actually does come out, I would definitely wait on getting this Studio Series official Bombi, just to see how this Bombi actually looks. Also, they have an upcoming Starscream figure, which kind of looks when Starscream is in that German area. So they may be turning him into like a German uh, airplane. I'm not sure if it was Germany or something. If you guys know what it is, please collect me down in the description below. Low, but during World War II times, he was like that plane. And I definitely can't wait to see Starscream looking like that because though those paintings, in my opinion, definitely do not connect with the continuity, I think it will be still uh, cool to get them at least in toy form. Well, that's all for this episode of Toy Analysis. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to join the Theorist Nation. Also, comment down below which Transformers figure that you saw in this video was your favorite and which one would you consider buying. As always, this has been Trans Series saying, keep on theorizing. Well, you're caught within the grim of the evil